to the five red lights ahead of the drivers. It's TOH lined up on pole position with Raven West and Tom Oz in P2 and 3 respectively. Lights are out for me and on the safety cars come out. So that'll be a rolling start. TOH waiting quite a while, just getting a little bit of surface temperature in the tyres. And he's bolted now, gets a very good jump over the rest of the field. Raven left bit for dust there to be honest seven tenths behind now as they're about to go three wide into turn one dodo looking around the outside now the mercedes on the inside looking to the outside now no contact by the looks of things thomas five second penalty for corner cutting that may get removed after the race devon young up to p3 now on the hards very good restart for him it's TOH that leads the way 1.3 seconds to Raven West in second place. Then followed by Devon Young, Malachi, RK, Thomas, Dodo, Mighty King. And Thomas and Dodo going side by side. Thomas on the outside of the first Lesmo. Dodo, a little bit of contact there. Down the inside of Lesmo too. Can he get the exit? On board now with Thomas. Draining the battery down towards Ascari, getting closer and closer on the inside of Ascari now, fully alongside. Dodo still there on the outside, little bit of contact, and he's been spun around by Mighty King there. Thomas off the track now. Mighty King looking on the outside for the next corner, gets the move into Parabolicus. Thomas still alongside though, tucks in just to get the slipstream down the main straight using the DRS and the Aston is actually closer to the, the Mercedes and the, that's going three wide that was a very very aggressive move there a little bit of contact between the Mc and the Williams and Mighty King has ended up in the wall there may have been contact I saw the Delta very close as I finished inviting CX Asteroid back to the lobby but let's check for some damage on Mighty King's car. It doesn't look like there is, but there may be minor damage that we just can't see. Can't quite find a way. Yes! The, as Mighty King rear locks quite heavily into the second chicane. Now just slightly alongside there for the Alpine. Looking for any way possible to get past. Aston Martin really struggling with the rears and has ended up in the wall and that's a full course safety car now with a fully recharged battery it is now burning a lot of battery once again going around the outside of turn three the Williams still there on the outside however gets squeezed to the outside Malachi goes in deep Williams gets the switch back gets on the battery it's gonna take the inside for the first Lesmo leaves the space on the exit yes he does would just have to back out for the second last move. That is very close racing from the pair of them. Now Diamond Miner with a good run out of the second Lesmo. Burning the battery, getting the slipstream from Malachi as well. With just gets ahead into Ascari. And Williams just thinking better about sticking his nose in, making the wise decision of keeping out of that. Raven on the soft now, just two tenths behind TOH and Diamond Miner already burning a load of battery to try and go around the outside of Parabolica has now just been switched back by the Williams heading onto the main straight to start lap 12 of this Grand Prix already so much action going on as they're about to go four wide nearly into turn one Diamond Miner on the outside into turn one and there's a lot of contact Diamond Miner on that sausage curve and RK gets pushed off into the gravel. Matt Mod now looking for a move on CX Asteroid. On the hards compared to the soft surprisingly. Asteroid making a very big dive down the inside of Ascari. Then Matt Mod getting a little bit of attraction but Asteroid on the battery. Now Dodo on the outside of the both of them with the battery on. Goes past both drivers in one straight ahead of the braking zone there Raven burning down the back the, down the pit straight now on the back of TOH getting the slipstream from the Haas now just back thinks wisely about turn one now he's gonna get a little bit of a better exit 
then Alpha Tauri. A little bit of racing into uh, racing contact there. Finally gets past the hard runner of TOH. It's now looking to the inside of Devon Young. A little bit more contact. Go Devon goes around the outside. Just staying ahead on those old tyres. TOH on the outside of both Devon Young. Where he's going to lift to try and get the DRS. The DRS games have already started. And we're only just halfway through this race. Raven getting a better blind through the parabolica that on the battery will have DRS as well it's now into the lead of the race Devon Young in the slipstream on the battery TOH with DRS and also on the battery is gonna get around the outside of the Haas breaking very late Raven goes a bit deep the Haas sticking it around the outside can he get good traction on the curb slightly cannot get as good traction as you would like on those old hard tyres TOH back up into second pos position Groot boxed at the end of last lap. I expect Devon to come in at the end of this lap, so it'd be ideal if Malakai can get past, which he's going to try and do. Uh, down the inside of Ascari, gets back on the racing line. Perfect use of the DRS and the battery there. Now, the problem he's got is that the gap ahead is 1.3 seconds, so he's not going to get DRS down towards turn 1. And if Devon pits at the end of this lap, then Malachi is going to be left stranded because he's going to have no way to get to the front. Devon stays out for at least another lap, maybe trying to start to the soft tyres. Devon going round the outside of turn one. Malachi just sticking his nose in, bouncing over the curb there. Can he get the switch back on those fresher tyres? Getting better traction slightly, a little bit of wheel banging coming out the corner. They're still side by side, going through Curva Grande. Uh, Diamond Miner now joining this battle once again. They're side by side. Malachi giving a little squeeze into the second chicane. Finally gets up properly into P3. Can what? Where's Groot going to be? He's going to be alongside Raven, going into turn one. Raven is on those cold tires. A little bit of contact there. He's going to look around the outside. Can he get the traction on those cold tyres? Yes, he can. Using some of that battery as well. Groot still burning the battery in the slipstream around Curva Grande. Looking to the inside of turn four now. Not quite late enough on the brakes. Just sits behind Raven for now. So Devon will be very, very quick now. And Aya is into the wall. I don't know if that was contact there, but Aya has spun into the wall, losing his front wing. That's very disappointing for the Aston Martin driver there. And there's a virtual safety car. This, if it stays out long enough, will be absolutely fantastic for TOH's race. He's going to come probably into the pit, and he doesn't. He doesn't take the opportunity to pit. I'm not exactly sure why. It's pretty much a free start. Malachi comes into the pits. And Asteroid also coming into the pits. RK also coming into the pits. This is a bit strange. Okay. The gap is 3.3 seconds to close up to this big train of cars. Malachi just getting ahead. Just going off track and letting, pa letting Devon go past. This is very, very good. Uh, teamwork from Haas drivers. Time Miner will see this and just gain sees uh, Groot flashing once again as well knowing he has a battery advantage now. Losing the rear out of Ascari. Hits the wall and destroys the board the foam board as well. Resets to track for good measure and Dodo looking very very aggressive now towards the end of the race he doesn't need the position to get the podium he can just sit behind and get the slipstream but Devon Young has a little bit more battery it's gaining 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 towards Parabolica can look to the outside into the final corner of the race round the outside is pushed a little bit wide onto the AstroTurf TOH what a drive from him taking P1 by 14 seconds Dodo just staying ahead 
of Devon Young there. 